All right, so today I'd like to talk about computers. So a Securing big topic a in the world of gaming is gaming computers, and a very large percentage is how to make a cheap gaming computer. So hopefully I'm going to help you guys refine what you have down and hopefully get you a, you know, a better computer, a uh, bang for the buck, and get you up in gaming on a PC sooner rather than later. So let me start this off by saying... I'm not going to have technically a PC in this, however, you if you guys would like seat. to see the entire process of this video, what I'm going to explain Retake in a live position. stream with actual pieces, and maybe a set budget, and maybe you guys tell me a budget, and then I build a computer for it, yada yada yada, let me know down below. That live stream could happen this weekend, guys. Just let me know down below if you'd like to see it. So, let's get right into this video. So. The thing that I like to do whenever I build a computer, it doesn't matter if, if I'm on a budget or not on a budget, but most of the time I'm on a budget. So what I like to do is go to Amazon. I love Amazon because of their two day shipping. You know, honestly, side note, everywhere you shop needs to be two day shipping. I, I love getting packages, but I cannot, I can't stand it. I can't stand waiting a week for something to show up. But, I digress. Let's get into this. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do to build a, a, you know, a cheaper gaming PC or a budget build, Securing if you will, is, is go to there. Amazon. And what I like to do is find the case. Um, um, find a case that you like. Usually, I do this just so you can visualize where all the pieces are going into, and then start going down the list of all the components that you need. You need RAM, your CPU, your motherboard, your power supply your hard drives, a copy of Windows, that's pretty important. I can't tell you how many people I've known that bought all the pieces to a computer. It's like, what? Well, nothing's happening. It's not running. We, uh, what, what's this then? Did you install Windows? It's not already on it? <laughs> so keep that in mind. You got to get Windows. Um, and there's many free ways to get Windows. I won't go into depth in that in this video, but do a quick little Google search and uh, just prepare for that route. That's all I'm gonna say. So I like finding the case first, right? And then I find all the other pieces all the way down. I, I think usually the Amazon list is usually around 11 items. I think that's like the magic number for components for a PC. All right, so once you get your, let's say 11 items, um, you're going to look at all 11 items. You're going to look at the total. And let's say your budget is $500 and you found that your total that after you've picked all these pieces is around 750, right? So if your budget is 500 and you've got 750 on the screen, that's a $250 difference. And now what you need to do is go piece by piece, starting with the case again, and possibly find um, a cheaper Securing case. You know, now that you know everything that you need and everything that you kind of would like to have put into a machine, now you know you have a good starting point. You know, okay, so this case that I found was $119, but I did find this case over here that I also really like, that's $70, and right there you're saving money, right? And you're gonna go through all the pieces and continue to do that. Now, let's say you get through the first run. I call this refining the list. Um, I do this a lot whenever I build computers. Even if someone's like, oh, I got a budget of $1,000 and it shows up to be like $1,020, I don't necessarily take 20. I'll wh uh, whittle Security it down all alpha. the way and then possibly even come back up. But once you're, once you're done with the first phase, you're going to want to go ahead and do that again if you're still not within your budget. Now, once it gets to a point that you've refined maybe twice, like on your second time where you're still not in budget, then you might want to consider looking at your budget. Um, it's very hard to build budget PCs um, and, and want you know, massive power. you got to know what you're going to get yourself into whenever you build a budget PC. All I'm saying is the pieces that you do not want to skip on, uh, the CPU, uh, the motherboard, and really that's kind of it. Everything else can kind of be skipped down on. Sorry if I sound a little different, I just kind of heard myself. I'm a little, little uh, what do you call it, sinusy? The allergens are in the air. So you don't want to skip on your CPU, your motherboard. Your power supply is questionable, but keep doing that. Refine your list down to your price point, and voila, you got yourself a computer. So like I said, if you guys want to see this in a live stream, a live PC part picker, let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Return to base. 
Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you'd like to be a part of the club.